pop quiz. What happens when two GOP election deniers run in the same Republican primary? Well, you get even more election denialism, of course. And that's exactly what happened at the GOP primary between John McGuire III and Bob Good in Virginia's 5th Congressional District last week. The loser is predictably crying fraud. And the response from fellow House Republican election deniers, that's what's really fascinating about this story to me. But before we get to their response, I want to look at the numbers from this particular race. These results are provided by the Washington Post. And at the time that I record this, the race still hasn't been called, but John McGuire is leading by just 373 votes with 99% of precincts reporting. So this is a very close race, obviously, and Bob Good is entitled to call for a recount since it's so close, so long as he's willing to foot the bill. Now, the problem is that a recount is very expensive, so he might not actually be able to afford it, but he's certainly trying to raise enough money to pay for a recount. In fact, he was begging for donations on Steve Bannon's show to do just that. But this is an interesting outcome to me because because Bob Good is the chair of the House Freedom Caucus. So this is somebody who is very powerful and has a lot of sway within the Republican Party. So the question is, how exactly did he lose to a state senator with no national name recognition? And to put it simply, he pissed off too many powerful people within the GOP, including Donald Trump. And that right there is the biggest no-no. As Politico reports, millions of dollars poured into the effort to oust Good, the chair of the House Freedom Caucus, who has managed to get on the bad side of prominent Republicans. That included former President Donald Trump, who endorsed McGuire after Good initially backed Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for the presidency. He also was facing the wrath of former Speaker Kevin McCarthy, whose political operation has mobilized against the eight Republicans, including Good, who voted to strip him of the gavel. And a number of his fellow colleagues in Congress have actively campaigned against good after he endorsed incumbents primary challengers throughout the cycle and when you look at the numbers here provided by open secrets it becomes clear why he lost there was just far more outside spending against him than there was against his opponent so when you factor in the outside spending along with all of the bridges that he's burnt within congress and also the fact that he committed the ultimate mortal sin by betraying daddy trump and endorsing DeSantis over Trump, you know, him losing isn't necessarily that surprising, although the race is still pretty close, to be fair. But on his way out, Bob Good is giving election-denying Republicans a little bit of a taste of their own medicine. So John McGuire, who's the guy that Trump endorsed and who's beating Bob Good, is also a 2020 election truther because... That's obvious. Trump wouldn't have endorsed him if he wasn't. And Bob Good is uh, also a massive 2020 election truther himself. In fact, he was one of 147 Republicans who voted to overturn the 2020 election results. And you can see him on the bottom row there, fifth over from the left. So, you know, it's no surprise that he's pulling the same bullshit once again. Now, Axios reports that he's demanding a complete do-over in one county. And on top of that, he's announced his plan to try to block the certification of the results in order to pursue sue an investigation into potential fraud. Sound familiar? Now, he's also crying fraud in part because he's alleging that there were three fires that broke out at three different voting precincts, and I guess that the insinuation here is that some of these ballots were burned or something. I honestly don't know what he's alleging specifically, but it doesn't matter because there were no fires. Yes, fire alarms did go off at those locations and people did have to leave the buildings momentarily, but that would have affected McGuire's voters just as much. So, there's no evidence of fraud. These accusations are completely baseless, but he's crying foul because he doesn't want to accept the fact that he lost this election. And this result right here, it's not surprising. In fact, it was inevitable because in the event Bob Good won and John McGuire lost, then we all know that he would be doing the same thing. But I will say it does feel poetic that the Trump-backed candidate is now the one who's being accused of fraud. I mean, the tables have kind of turned, right? Now, that to me is not even the most interesting aspect of this story. The way that election-denying Republicans in the House are responding to Good's accusations of fraud, that to me is very fascinating because after crying foul themselves, you'd think that these so-called election integrity advocates would take Bob Good's claims of fraud very seriously. But they're not. Instead, they're calling him a sore loser. No hint of self-awareness whatsoever in calling him that. Seriously. So when Trump cries fraud after losing an election, he's not a sore loser. But when Bob Good cries fraud after losing an election, well, that's because he's a sore loser. See, this story is so important because they are inadvertently admitting that they are all full of shit. That's obvious, but... 
what they're telling us is that they'll only take fraud accusations seriously if it's from a Republican that they like or if there's something to be gained by parroting fraud claims. But I do want to get to some specific quotes here because they are dragging Bob Good for saying that the election was stolen. They are dragging him. And I wish that this is how they responded to other Republicans like Trump and Carrie Lake who cried fraud. They're not. But at least when it comes to Bob, Bob Good, they're saying, Shut the fuck up. So Axios reports, the House Freedom Caucus chair is tapping into a strain of election denialism common in Donald Trump's Republican Party, but without the widespread GOP support Trump enjoyed. Quote, no one is buying it, but all understand this is one of the several stages of electoral grief, said one House Republican speaking on the condition of anonymity. Oh, well, that's rich coming from a Republican in the House. The GOP lawmaker added that Good's assertion of election irregularities is the reflexive thing people who can't accept loss say these days. Hmm, I wonder why they're saying that. Quote, of course, Bob is claiming election fraud. He is grasping at straws to help save his political career, said Representative Derek Van Orden, who endorsed McGuire. Representative Ryan Zink, another McGuire endorser, said simply, Bob Good lost. Representative Mike Lawler, noting that Good has focused his claims on Lynchburg despite winning there, said, what a loser. Bob Good lost. It is very simple, said Representative John Duarte. Fuck Bob Good. Bob Good is a or a loser, his defeat strengthens our majority, one House Republican told Axios. Said another, I assume Bob Good is full of shit. God damn. Quote, if Bob had spent more time working for America and less time trying to dictate to other members of Congress how we could vote for our constituents, we would not be having this conversation. He is a bully and it is time for him to go, Van Orden said. So they are dragging him hard and the kindest response that i saw came from ralph norman who's also a member of the freedom caucus by the way and he said something to the effect of well you know if there's fraud i'm sure that we're going to see the evidence to substantiate those claims but that's like the kindest and it's not really even an endorsement of bob good's claims it's just saying hey if we see evidence then we'll move forward with that but most of them are like fuck this guy he's a sore loser it's crazy to me because, you know, what's funny is that all these Republicans calling Bob Good a sore loser, we all know they're going to parrot Trump's election fraud claims in November if he loses again. They're all going to do it. They'll all be in lockstep. No hint of self-awareness there either. So if it wasn't already clear enough to you, they don't actually believe the bullshit that they're espousing. They use fraud cynically because they think there's a benefit to using fraud. They're throwing democracy under a bus for their own political careers. That's obvious to everybody who's been paying attention, but I think that this is something right here that needs to be thrown in their face when they inevitably cry fraud again in the future. So when they say, look, this election was rigged, if Trump says that in November, if Kerry Lake says that, then you say, wait, but all of you said that Bob Good was a sore loser, so aren't you just being a sore loser here? It's not like they care about the hypocrisy, but I think that normal people need to see that these folks are full of shit and they don't mean what they say. Now, personally, I am torn on this story because on one hand, I want Bob Good to keep crying fraud to give them a taste of their own medicine because we all know they deserve it. But on the other hand, frivolous claims of fraud are downright dangerous to democracy because little by little, each candidate that cries fraud undermines trust in democracy. And if there's no buy-in to the democratic process, democracy can't survive. So I don't know how to feel about the story, but I won't deny the inherent humor with this story. An election denier is crying fraud against a fellow election denier. That is objectively hilarious. And in a normal world, that ridiculousness would get Republicans to understand why normalizing election denialism is bad for everyone, including them. But, you know, we don't live in a normal world and they have no problem having a completely different set of standards for candidates that they dislike. And I say this knowing that if, hypothetically speaking, they did do a recount and it turned out that Bob Good actually did have more votes, perhaps there were absentee ballots in a particular precinct that weren't counted, for example. If that happened, we all know John McGuire would then be the one crying fraud and all of the Republicans shitting on Bob Good, calling him a sore loser, would then flip and support John McGuire's claims of election fraud. We all know that's exactly what they would do because they're completely dishonest hacks. I mean, this race right here was bound to produce the most stupidest outcome imaginable. But if Republicans really want to avoid humiliating situations like this in the future, I don't know, stop engaging in election denialism. If you stop saying that elections are stolen, then that's going to be good for all of us, not just Democrats, not just you, but for democracy. So, I don't know, cut out the bullshit and we'll all be better off. But they're not. 
So, you know, I guess the best we get is the satisfaction of them getting a taste of their own medicine. I'm gonna come. Do not come. 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 Welcome to the Come Zone. Ah, ah.